I celebrate the yet to come. I'm Ann Alter, and I'm a client of Western Psychiatric Institute and Clinic, and I'm very pleased to be part of this group. We are musicians who experience mental illness, and we are creating music. We are moving beyond our diagnoses, and we are prospering. How I, how I came to be part of things was that uh, Dr. Uh, Roy Chinkapa had asked different people if, if they were musically inclined, and I happen to be musically inclined, and I'm a peer specialist at uh, Western Psychiatric Hospital. So, and that's my line of work, but I, I'm musically inclined, so I got involved. He asked me if I would come and sing, and, and if we would, and so we just got together and we started singing and playing guitars and basses and pianos, and before you know it, we banged out a song. My name's David. Um, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia quite a while ago, in 1997. Music has been continuously part of my recovery. Um, I was playing music when I was, when I developed schizophrenia. Always been part of my life since a young age. Hi everyone. Uh... This is Barry Mills, and uh, good to just uh, good to be uh, uh, a part of the Cosmic Messengers. Uh, that's uh, the four of us. Uh, we uh, are grateful to be able to play our music for you, and let you know what we can do, even though uh, such a mental health illness uh, is uh, also among us. I love the people I work with. I love the um, exchange of leadership. I depend on them. Uh, it's and it's such good training to learn to sing with other people. That's which is how most music is made. Uh, everyone has a wonderful attitude. Yes, I have a rhythm and blues band, but I may come back to uh, gospel music. I started out with gospel music, then went to rhythm and blues, but I may I think I'm coming back to gospel. This clinical music project we're, we're involved in here has been quite interesting, um, very educational to uh, develop these songs with this small group of people, fellow musicians, fellow schizophrenics, and uh, you know, we're we're a bunch of people with uh, the same mental health diagnosis, so that gives us a common bond. We're fa we're facing some of the same challenges, so it's been very interesting to develop these songs together, and um, it's been quite a treat to work with a conductor like Flavia, who's a very great musician and who's uh, been very patient with us as, as you've um, helped us through this process. Thank you. So we thank you for that.
will all be stars, stars, stars. So I had to derail my dreams of performance for so many years because of my illness. And Flavio has helped to give me back what I had thought I had lost. He's had infinite patience with us. He always believes in that we can do the best that we can. And we're so privileged to be able to work with him. But music, um, when I'm singing, when I'm listening to music, I am more than my diagnosis. I am um, a musician. I am experiencing something profound and beautiful. In college, I sort of lost touch with reality down in Virginia Tech. And uh, music played a big part in that. Um, I was playing lots of music, lots of guitar, keyboard, drums. I was, I had musical partners, friends I was playing with. I was hearing music that wasn't real. That was pretty interesting. Did you ever emulate that music? Did you ever play and, you no know, kind of imitate the music you were listening? Yeah, I tried to. Huh. It was quite, quite, I've heard some quite interesting music in my hallucinations. <laughs> I have heard some hallucinated music in my recovery, which has been quite interesting. Um, it's been like, like Mahler kind of classical music. Wow. I've heard some stuff like that. It's been quite quite some quite amazing stuff I've heard. It was uh, surprising at first, but uh, I knew it was uh, achievable. I knew I could, you know, learn it, and once I learned it, I knew I could play it. Yes. Right. How does it feel to be the creator of a brand new piece? <laughs> Feels great. Feels terrific. I'm <laughs> very thankful. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of kind of neat to have my own lyrics be form the basis for a song that gets produced and played and shared with the world. Uh, that's pretty special. Uh, it's a good feeling. Yeah, I certainly didn't know that the poem would turn into a song in the world when I wrote the poem. I have to say, I have participated in numerous musical productions and talent shows and I sang back up for a nightclub band when I was 16 years old, many, many years ago. And uh, this is the first time I've ever participated in a musical um, musical session where we, we practiced and we put together a song from scratch, from start to finish. I, uh, I've never, never done anything like that before where I've, I've been part of actually creating a music piece and um, it, was, it was very interesting to, to be part of that. It was wonderful, it was a beautiful song. David Baer wrote the lyrics and Flavia wrote the music and an incredible sense of specialness to be creating a song that had not been prepared before.
I'm just very happy that uh, all you people are interested in schizophrenia and the treatment of schizophrenia. Conferences like this are wonderful opportunities for people to get together. The uh, recovery tool, I use it myself and it helps keep me grounded and um, keep me balanced so that I have a sense of balance and moderation in what I'm doing. But music, um, when I'm singing, when I'm listening to music, I am more than my diagnosis. I am um, a musician. I am experiencing something profound and beautiful. Yes, for the cosmic messages, the new pieces for the cosmic messages. Looking for yes, the way you're still, still on the board. Yes, I am. <laughs> Yeah.